Today is the grand final of the sixth PA Raspberry Pi competition. This year, we've chosen as a theme for all the contestants the challenge of sustainability. You scan the barcode and on a screen, it'll tell you, oh, this goes in general waste. And it'll also give you a fact about how much we recycle, how much we don't recycle, something like that. Uh, you know, being someone whose day job is to work in innovation, I'm sure I'm going to be bowled over at some of what these young people have managed to do on a shoestring of a budget with limited resources. They're just really harnessing the raw talent and I'm really excited about seeing some of the output from that. My project EcoPi is to reduce energy consumption by getting you to turn the heating off. The skills of the future will be very much digital skills. These young people will have had a first-hand experience of seeing just how far they can take technology. We're Life of Pi and our invention is a way to turn off street lights when they're not being used. We've got a system of lasers and basically light gates that when you walk through it, it'll turn the street light on so that the rest of the time they're off. Uh, I always enjoy this. Um, it's, it's an opportunity to be inspired again by uh, how people have taken this little device. It's been a revolutionary device around the world, Britain's most successful computer, and it's, it's still inspiring schools uh, across the country to come up with great ideas and to work together to fulfil their visions. So we have three different components. We have a wind turbine, a solar panel, and a hand power generator. The Pi has a little LCD screen, which it will print out the battery voltage, and then the wind turbine voltage, and the solar panel voltage. So you can just monitor how everything's working, and make sure it's all actually producing the power that you need it to. It's an immense occasion. Um, I got interested as a result of last year's competition where I saw the enthusiasm, passion and energy that all the finalists had for using technology. Well I've been a judge uh, on this competition for a number of years and this was the most difficult year so far. What impressed me the most was the teamwork that was seen from all the projects we looked at as judges. It's a real privilege for those of us that are adults in the room just to see how creatively you have taken the brief. This is about your future. You have got the imagination and the creativity to look at the world in a very different way. So keep on being innovative because that is what is going to change the world and make it a much better place. It was very hard, but it would be imaginate. The, the toughest challenge we probably faced was actually finding the idea in the first place, but from then on it, it kind of, it, it worked. Very well done. It's an incredible group. We do have to pick a winner, and that winner was Life with Pi. So well done, Life with Pi. So it was actually a lot of effort for him to actually get something which was precise enough, especially for the longer range one, to actually allow us to focus it back onto the sensor. Very well done, Life of Pi. The winner, just by a whisker, was September. We believe that it can have real industrial benefit in places that need it. Excellent, well done, well done. <laughs>